So is there an easy way to take a number and write it using scientific notation? The trick is to move the decimal and count how many times you move it. Let's walk through it using this number, 3,800. Something to remember here is that sometimes there isn't a decimal written down because it's implied. The decimal would be here at the end of our number, 3,800. Any farther left or right, and it wouldn't be the same number anymore. First, we're going to move the decimal point until there's only one number to the left of the decimal. We'll move it to the left one digit, two digits, three digits, and we're done. There's only one number to the left of it. Next, we write down that new number, and we multiply it by 10, which is how we write scientific notation. And all we're missing is the exponent above the 10. So the next step is to count how many times we just moved the decimal point. In our case, we moved it three times. And finally, we write that number as our exponent above the 10. So here we need to decide if the exponent is positive or negative. And here's how we know. If we move the decimal to the left, the exponent is positive. And if we move the decimal to the right, the exponent is negative. In our case, we move the decimal to the left, so the exponent is positive 3. And this makes sense because we learned that positive exponents are used for numbers larger than 1, and negative exponents are used for numbers smaller than 1. And 3,800 is definitely larger than 1. Okay, cool. So we took a number, 3,800, and we rewrote it using scientific notation, 3.8 times 10 to the third. This one was pretty simple, but there's a quick way we can check to make sure we did it right. All we need to do is multiply 3.8 times 10 to the third and see if we get our original number. 3.8 times 1,000 equals 3,800, which is our original number, so we know we did it right. And let's try one example going the other way. Let's use this number, 0 0.00024. So first, we need to move the decimal point so that there's only one number to the left of it that isn't a zero. Here, we'll move it one, two, three, four times until only one number, the two, is to the left of it. Next, we write down this number, 2.4 times 10. And finally, we count the number of times that we move the decimal, which was four times, and we write that as our exponent. But this time, we move the decimal to the right, so our exponent is negative. So there we go. 0 0.00024, written in scientific notation, is 2.4 times 10 to the negative fourth. And if we type that into our calculator, we'll get our original number back, 0 0.00024.